After three hours in the air, everyone who didn't have bottled oxygen would have been unconscious. As it approached Athens, Flight 522 was now a ghost plane. The Greek Air Force scrambles two of its most sophisticated fighter jets to investigate the Helios plane. Helios 522, do you read? Over. But the pilots aren't getting any response. One of the jets flies closer to the 737. Someone is in the co-pilot's seat, slumped over the controls. But there's no sign of the captain at all. The fighter pilot radios air traffic control in Athens. Athens ACC, there is one figure in the cockpit of Helios 522. It appears non-responsive. Athens ACC. Checking the cabin. He can see passengers in their seats, but none of them react to the presence of the jet. Then the pilot sees someone moving in the cockpit. Athena Control, there is one person moving in the cockpit of Helios 522. Repeat, there is one person inside the cockpit. Helios 522, do you read? Over. Helios 522, over. Flight HCY 522, this is the radar control. How do you hear? The F-16s continue shadowing the jet, but there's no response at all from the cockpit. One of them was actually in a shooting position behind uh, the 737. The other one was nearby the cockpit, and he was trying to communicate visually with the person in the cockpit. Suddenly, the 737 turns left and begins to quickly descend. Athena ACC, Helios 522 turning sharply, following down. From nearly 33,000 feet, the plane drops towards the ground. There is no structural failure, there is no fire, there is no problem, obvious problem, from the external view with the plane. Helios 522, over, do you read? Ilios 522. Do you read? Over. Then, nearly 6,900 feet above the ground, the person in the captain's seat acknowledges the fighter jet for the very first time. But no words are exchanged. Neither the fighter pilot nor local air traffic control can make radio contact with the jet. Just after 12 o'clock, almost three hours after it took off from the island of Cyprus, Helios Flight 522 slams into the ground. Athena ACC, Helios 522 is down. Repeat, Helios 522 is down on Gramatico Hill. Over. Fire and rescue workers rush to the crash site. There are no survivors. Most of the 121 victims are from Cyprus. The small island nation declares three days of mourning following the crash. <laughs> 